NFL players buy some really weird things. Monster trucks, rocket ships, Hello Kitty smart cars. One player even turned his house into a zoo. Darnell Dockett's animal fetish started with pet lizards, alligators, and a $30,000 monkey. But eventually, he spent another 100 k on something illegal. A tiger. Out of nowhere, Darnell posted a pic of it in his house, and everybody thought the man went crazy. Cause not only could it literally destroy his crib or, you know, kill somebody, the tiger almost got him arrested. When people saw Darnell's tiger lurking around the neighborhood, it turned into an all-out investigation. Cause owning a tiger in Arizona isn't only against the law, it's a felony. It was suspected that Darnell bought the tigers down south and secretly had them transported across the country. So once Darnell heard the feds were onto him, he disappeared and hasn't tweeted in years. Maybe he's been hiding out with Antonio Brown. Cause this dude literally built a habitat in his backyard. Ooh, that's a small facility right there, baby. <laughs>
Vince was told that every single penny of his career earnings were gone. And even worse, he was over a million dollars in debt and forced to sell his house, all because of his cheesecake addiction. But at least Vince could actually get cake, because what another player bought guaranteed he'll never get laid. The first million dollars Will Hernandez earned went towards some weird ass things. Cause while other players used their first checks to buy cars, mansions, or jewelry, Hernandez bought something to clean his ass? I always wanted a bidet, you know? The, the bidets are like these toilets that like require no toilet paper. The toilet was around $4,500, but very worth the investment. Dude spent nearly 5K to sh all day, but he's also got a superhero fetish? One day, you know, I was just strolling by New York City, saw a comic book store. There just happened to be a life-size six foot five Batman action figure. You know, I went, picked it out, grabbed it, three grand. But Hernandez's favorite piece is his Thanos Infinity Gauntlet, because he brings this thing everywhere he goes. I take this thing everywhere with me. So I just wonder if he'd bring it to another planet, like the NFL legend who spent millions to leave Earth. Michael Strand wanted to do something no NFL legend had ever done. Because when he saw that Jeff Bezos' space flights were making headlines, Strand wanted to get in on the fun. So he hit up Bezos to plan out an expensive adventure. And not long after, Strand announced his plans. In less than three weeks, I will be blasting off in the next Blue Origin <laughs> space launch. And just think about this. One seat for one flight on one of Bezos' aircrafts cost $28 million. So Strand wasn't about to take the opportunity for granted. He spent the next few weeks preparing for launch and even planned on bringing some sentimental things with him on his flight. I am taking my retired Giants jersey, my Hall of Fame ring, my Super Bowl ring, and the most special thing to me when my father passed away and they had his military funeral, the bullets that they fired from the gun, I'm taking those. But as the clock ticked down, Strand knew once he put on the suit, it was showtime. And eventually, the day came. Strayan and his co-pilots pulled up ready to make history. And as they walked up the launch tower, the nerves definitely set in, but there was no turning back. Astronaut Stray, how do you read me? Stray is good. Five, four, three, two. Off they went. Strand's crew was traveling 2,300 miles an hour. So within seconds, they were already above the clouds and eventually reached over 62 miles above the Earth's atmosphere. It was official. The crew was in space and floating around having the time of their lives. But the only problem was, it couldn't last forever. So eventually, the aircrafts made their descent, parachuted back down to Earth, and what seemed like a small step for man became a giant leap for an NFL legend. 